In this video, I'm going to give you the real deal on whether or not you should be removing the skin from poultry like chicken and duck for your raw feeding. Well, let's get started. Welcome to the channel everyone, Scott the Dog Dad here from DogDadOfficial.com and if you want to learn more about raw feeding and other raw feeding related stuff then go ahead and click the subscribe button below as well as the little bell notification icon so that you get notified about future videos. Alright, so here's the real deal. This morning in my raw feeding Facebook group, Raw Feeding 101, I saw a post about whether or not the skin should be removed from some duck that someone was going to be feeding. And it started a really big uh, discussion, really big conversation, tons and tons of different opinions being thrown around, and here's the deal. In my opinion, there are only three main reasons that you should be removing skin from poultry. Reason number one, your dog has a history of having a sensitive stomach. Now what I mean by this is maybe for example you are going to be going through the transition, you're going to use poultry to transition with, like chicken for example, and you know from past history, past food changes that your dog has a really sensitive stomach. So in order to keep the transition bland, you may want to remove the skin during the transition. And again, this is in case you know for sure because of past experiences that your dog has a sensitive stomach that some of the extra fat and skin could upset. Reason number two, your dog is struggling with the transition. Now by struggling with the transition, I mean it's not uncommon for a couple of days into the transition for the dog to still be having um, runny stools, soft stools, and sometimes the skin is making that worse because of the extra fat that is inside of the skin. If you have a dog that is in this situation, then what a lot of people will do and what I sometimes recommend is removing the skin until things balance out, until you're farther into the transition and the dog's stomach can handle the extra fat that's in the skin. Reason number three, a diagnosed medical reason for a low fat diet. Now there are situations due to one medical condition or another that will cause a veterinarian to recommend a dog be on a very low fat diet. In cases like this, it may be a good idea to remove the skin from poultry, again like chicken, duck, and turkey. Now, I say diagnosed very purposefully because this is not something that you should just be guessing on and diagnosing at home. If you suspect that your dog should be on a very low fat diet, I highly recommend working with a raw supporting holistic veterinarian, if at all possible, to make sure that this is actually appropriate for your dog. Make sure that you get it diagnosed by a veterinarian. Don't do home diagnoses on this one. If your dog doesn't have a history of having a sensitive stomach, if your dog isn't struggling with the transition, and if your dog has not been diagnosed with a medical condition that causes and requires a low fat diet, then I see very little to no reason to be removing skin from poultry like chicken, duck, and turkey. At this point, if it's not a necessity because of one of those three reasons, all that you're doing is wasting food and money. To learn more about or even get started on raw feeding, check out my free seven simple steps to raw feeding and other raw feeding resources in the description below. Please like and share this video, give it a thumbs up, and remember that you don't have to be perfect to be an amazing dog owner. You just have to do your best every day and try to improve as you go forward. Peace.